Yeah. One IP, I mean, yeah. it's insane. How are you gonna integrate that technology with anything that you're doing outside of that office? Hello everybody, welcome to Search. This week we will talk about how to build an e-commerce B2B industrial website. So I know that's a lot to take in. Joe, we work with a lot of B2B businesses, but what we see now is a lot of the manufacturing, industrial, machinery, types of B2B businesses are trying to go online because they have to go remote and all the clients, it doesn't matter if you're B2B or it doesn't matter if you're B2C, everybody's online. And we see a huge, huge movement now in B2B e-commerce. And as you know, these companies are used to working in a specific manner. They're used to um, running their sales force through phone calls and coding systems and that's all changing now. Mm -hmm. So what is the first step or the few first steps if you are an industrial B2B business and you're trying to go e-commerce. Yeah. So the first step is find the right platform for your business. Again, a lot of these industrial manufacturing sites have hundreds of thousands of product SKUs, right? So you cannot just get on your average e-commerce platform. You're going to need an enterprise level platform, a platform that can actually handle the amount of not only product SKUs, the volume that you're probably moving as well. So the first step is you need to identify what an enterprise level platform is and how that platform can accommodate the size of your business. Yep. And the problem here is the following. We have, you'll be surprised, we have so many industrial B2B businesses coming to us and they work with somebody else and the expert did not know what structure to build. They change their entire system to a, to something like a WooCommerce. I mean, we see $20 million businesses that went from advanced cold fusion or PHP structures custom to WooCommerce with 20,000, 30,000 products and it doesn't work. So you have to know what kind of structure you need. And usually, correct me if I'm wrong, Joe, if your B2B business is heavy, which means it's more than 60% of your business, um, we usually recommend that your front end, which is your www, stays as a CMS. We actually don't suggest that you make changes to that. And we recommend that you build the e-commerce aspect of your business on a subdomain, correct? Well, it really depends. Uh, I mean, I think, I think some um, you know, e-commerce experts would recommend that. Uh, but again, in my opinion, I feel like if you're really trying to so here's the thing, when it comes to B2B, you have your product, or I'm sorry, you have your customer base. You already have a loyal customer base. Your, you know, your sales team already have these guys on, on speed dial. However, if you're trying to penetrate a market, if you're trying to increase your visibility, now when it comes to SEO, you're gonna find a lot more value if you're housing your entire e-commerce operation under one roof, under one, under one domain. Yeah. So again, it, 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 I think it varies. I think if you're a really well-established industrial manufacturer that you already, like I said, have these distributors and, and you know, these guys on, on speed dial, that's perfectly fine. It's actually going to be a lot easier for you to move forward um, building that out and it's not going to be as technical. However, if you're just starting to manufacture a new product, right, a new invention, or maybe even uh, starting to build a, a new product for a new industry that's eventually going to scale, I would suggest having that all under one roof. So Joe, that actually makes a lot of sense. In terms of an e-commerce or a B2B e-commerce structure, you have to make sure it really depends on the objectives. If you're trying to really go online and just kill it online and do new client acquisition like you've never done before, it makes sense to put everything into your www or it makes sense to move to a platform that handles that B2B structure, mm -hmm. right? So talk to us. Uh, you know, I, I'm always interested in the back end side of things operationally. We run into B2B businesses that are running enterprise ERP systems, inventory management systems that do not have APIs. Uh, they're, they are shipping from five different locations and warehouses and they don't even use a centralized <coughs> shipping manager. What do you, how do you group this all together? What kind of a consulting do you need to provide to these B2B businesses so that you have them set up the right way to be able to scale. Yeah, and we see that all the time. We see a lot of our industrial manufacturing clients that are using prehistoric ERPs, prehistoric even sometimes CRMs, right? That aren't even cloud-based. 
they're run on specifically on desktop. One IP. Yeah. One IP. I mean, yeah. it's insane. How are you going to integrate that technology with anything that you're doing outside of that office? It's impossible, right? So what you're doing is you're, you're limiting yourself tremendously. So what we're doing is we're going to consult you not only from an e-commerce aspect, your entire workflow from how you're entering these leads into our CRM, how you're using, utilizing your ERP, your inventory management system, and have each and every one of these technologies communicate with one another. And that comes down to starting off with the right platform that has the capabilities to even API out and communicate properly with all of these third-party tools that you're going to be using that's going to make you know your business possible and your business scalable. Because at the end of the day, entering leads and sales manually is not a scalable solution, right? And at the same time, no communication back and forth to your website, to your data that, you know, those offline transactions that occur, there's no way of knowing what you need to do from a, a marketing standpoint, an advertising standpoint, a conversion optimization standpoint in order to scale your business, right? So again, you need all of your technology integrated with your, with your e-commerce site. So if you're a B2B business, you're definitely running over five platforms. And if you're doing over $10 million, that might be even more, right? You have your inventory management system and or you have your ERP and, and or you have your CRM and or you have your call center or call center software. Uh, and on top of all of that, you have your accounting software that might not even be integrated with all of this. Now you want to go e-commerce, you're going to sell to different states guess what? You're going to need a tool that's going to manage your sales taxes because the nexus in certain states are crazy. So this stuff really adds up and you need a centralized system that will be able to handle this. And this is exactly what we do at Optimum 7 and how we consult B2B businesses to be ready to go online and to be ready for prime time in terms of e-commerce visibility. Now, there's a whole side of this that adds on top of this from a marketing standpoint, right, Joe? Because if so far what you have done is you've done B2B quotes and you have a call center, you have 800 numbers, you're not tracking your phone calls. Now you're going to need uh, a specific phone call tracking system that's going to track all the sources of traffic and where those calls are actually coming from. Absolutely. So on this post, we're going to include a diagram that shows the product funnels and the order funnels when you set up a B2B e-commerce business. We'll talk to you guys next week.